Tatiampi, good morning, 1st of October, and uh, one, one of the things I miss about Thailand, I'm thinking about my upcoming trip to Thailand in November, one of the things I do miss about Thailand is the kind of uh, people everywhere delighting in generosity, at least around the monasteries. So the Buddha said that it's a purification of generosity when we delight in giving. So like it's actually, it's, uh, it's more merit, it's more boon when we are happy to give, when we give happily or when we're happy to be generous, when we delight in relinquishment. This is also Chagananda. Chagananda is to delight in relinquishment. There's, there's Dana, which is more like material giving, and then there's Chaga, which is like the mental giving up, mental relinquishment. So relinquishing things like views and opinions, and uh, even the sense of relinquishing our sense of self-importance or what I think I need for my practice, that's chaga. And also the Buddha recommends giving attention to perceptions of resistance. So when things arise in our life and we, we feel this sense of resistance come up, like uh, when uh, maybe we get assigned a task during the work period we don't like or don't enjoy doing, then the sense of resistance might come up. Or uh, I remember I had this when I was in Anagarika the work monk asked me to do something and I would have this really strong sense of resistance come up because I knew a better way to do it. And uh, I even, actually, I didn't even, it didn't just come up internally. I just told him I'm not doing it that way. So uh, fortunately, I don't do that that much anymore. And uh, so there's a little bit more chaga there. So chaga is the uh, internal, more the internal relinquishment giving up. It's also a form of generosity toward ourselves and others because it's a generosity toward ourselves because we'll be happier and it's generosity towards others because we'll be brighter and easier to be around. And so that, that, uh, that sense of delighting and generosity. And also uh, in life in general, we do need to develop a sense of courageousness or toughness. And it is easy to fall into me childish mental states. This is, reminds me of, there's a talk that Lumpur Sumedho gave that was titled Emotionally Stuck at Age 15. And so that can, uh, that can happen as well, acknowledging that. But then it does take, over time with practice, we develop a kind of maturity, which we do rise up out of that. And it's like when we're, we go through the different cycles of life. So when we're children, we like to play with toys. We like to play with toys and, uh, watch cartoons, and, and then uh, as we grow up, we get tired of those toys and we want to do other things, hang out with our friends, just uh, have as much fun as possible, and then eventually we decide we grow out of that and then we want to maybe have a family or have a career or whatever, and then those, uh, those previous things don't seem as important to us or or like we might like watching movies and then eventually we watch enough movies and then we see that it's just actors gyrating on a screen and it doesn't have the same allure or the same pull for us anymore. So, so why do those changes take place? And sometimes the mind falls back into that and we can get into these, these kind of more childish states where I miss my toys, I want to play with my toys, where are my toys? Oh yeah, okay, right. I'm 44 years old. Okay, just kind of... Uh, so, but then it's interesting because as we, even though the body grows older, the mind can stay the same. The mind, so that with the training, the Buddha's training is all about helping the mind to grow up out of those more immature states and develop a sense of maturity. That's why we talk about generosity, dana, and the internal relinquishment, chaga, Chaga is a very mature mental state, and it leads to a very strong sense of, of letting go, well-being, happiness. So, and it'll happen faster and faster. The longer we practice, the, the faster the Dhamma will come up and we'll be able to let go. And our sense of well-being is going to be proportionate to the amount we're able to let go. Is that for reflections? Mm -hmm.